Hi, welcome to part 5 of the Marutop tutorial series. My name is Serge and today I'll show you how to export routes from Marutop to your setnav or how to use the routes in our own Marutop navigation. Let's head to a route that I prepared. And here we are. I already prepared a nice route in Germany. It's ready for both TomTom, Garmin and the Marutop navigation. To export this route, in this case to my TomTom, I have two options. I can save the route in my drive directly. For that I click save as and then scroll down and type TomTom my drive, enter my details. In this export you will only receive the track file. The second option is to export. I click the export button and then if I haven't done so already I'm asked to install the Marutab connector, either for Windows or Mac OS, depending on the system you use, and then select Open Route. I now have the option to choose from TomTom ITN to TomTom GPX for the newer models like the 400 and the 500 series. I can select Garmin, and that too uses GPX, or I can directly export to BMW car or motorcycles. Under the Save As button, there's also options to save the files locally to your PC and then manually move them through Explorer onto your SatNav device. If you want to use Export through USB, then follow this procedure for both TomTom and Garmin devices. I click Export and then open route and if you're unsure what to use there's a button that helps you find the information for your specific navigation system. In my case I have a TomTom 400 so I select the TomTom Rider GPX 1.1 and then I want to export to device. If I were to click it now I get an error message because the computer has not recognized my rider at this moment. This is true for both Garmin and TomTom. Make sure that the USB connection is up and running before you start exporting. So now I will connect my TomTom to the PC. And as you can see, there is an indication on the screen that says import routes. If I click that, I can see a pop-up on my screen. It's behind me now and it says the TomTom is connected, select what you want to do. OK, now the TomTom is ready to receive the route, so I export it to device, and after a few short seconds, it should say the route is exported to your device. Now you know that the route is on your TomTom. I click OK here, and I click Done on my screen on the TomTom, and then I get the option to import the routes that are just an I have to scroll down and find the round trip that I just uploaded. And once I've selected that, I click import and then the route is imported as a track and a route. Always use track. That's the advice. Um, the same route can be used on my route app navigation. I'll show you that now. And this is the screen that shows you my route app navigation on my iPad. Under navigate and track, I can there go to routes. And now the top one says round trip Ettringen. If I select that one, my route app navigation will calculate a starting route from where I am to where the route takes place and as you can see it's the same round trip. No export, simply ready to use in my route of navigation. Exporting to a Garmin works the same as a TomTom but on the Garmin itself there's a little bit more uh, that you need to do when you have imported the route. There's webinars on it that shows you exactly what you need to do on a Garmin device. Thanks for watching, see you next time.